Hey guys, Jake here. Welcome back to the farm. Uh, doing a little different video here today, one that I, you know, didn't think I'd have to do. But what has gone wrong with my tractor in the first 50 hours of use? So, if you've been following along on our videos, we got a brand new tractor this year. Uh, we got under 50 hours on it, coming right up on 50. So I'm going to go over with you what's gone wrong for me in those quick 50 hours. So, problem number one, which is kind of minor, um, was the bucket was crooked. And I don't know if my bucket is warped or the arms or whatever. Uh, it was in the shop. They said they fixed it. It's not fixed. So, they're going to have to look at that one again. I'll show a picture of what I mean here. Suggestions on what might be causing that. Please leave a comment down below and let me know. Problem number two is I was looking and checking all my fluid levels and noticed that I didn't have any radiator fluid. No warning lights, no overheating, no nothing like that, but the reservoir tank was empty. Went to add some more fluid to the system and it wouldn't go in. So while it was in the shop, they just said that the system needed to be burped. So far, it's working okay. Just keeping an eye on it. Problem number three, the air conditioner stopped working. And I know you're thinking, you know, poor me, you have an air conditioner. But if you're gonna pay for it, it should work. It gets really hot in there. I can't open the back window with the backhoe on, so I literally just cook. Turns into a sweaty mess, not fun, not enjoyable. So it just needs to be fixed. It was in the shop for three weeks getting that fixed. They had to wait for a part. I forget which part it was. Um, got it back, used it once, worked fine, tried using it again, stopped working. So two strikes on the air conditioner. Problem number four, am I up to? Either or. This is the biggest one. And if you got my last video of trying to rip up the tree stump, um, got the check engine light that came on. 50 hours on the machine and check engine light. So called the dealer. They said there's a problem with the fuel injectors that is stopping the regen system from properly working, something like that. So they said not to use it. It's been sitting here ever since, waiting for them to come pick it up, which should be in a day or two. <sighs> it's not something that you expect to have to use so much is the warranty on a brand new machine. I mean, personally, if you're paying this kind of money for a tractor, it should go longer than 50 hours without having to spend three weeks in the shop and getting ready to go spend another untold amount of time in the shop to fix the air conditioner again and figure out what's wrong with the engine. So, little frustrated, obviously. There's my little rant. Um, not one to kind of just bash something without saying something good about it. So my something good about it is when it works, it's a workhorse. Haven't had any problems with the machine doing what I need it to do. Um, the backhoe digs awesome, very powerful. I've been able to move big rocks, big trees. I mean, you name it, you guys have seen the videos. And if not, Go back and look through them all because, you know, the tractor does do work. So that's it. There's my rant. What's gone bad or what's gone wrong in the first 50 hours that I've had the tractor. And, um, you know, I'll keep you guys updated, let you know how this repair goes, how long it takes to get done. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'm not without the tractor for too long because, as you guys know, I got a lot of work to do here. That'll do it for this short little video and my quick rants. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. Write down in the comments below what other problems you guys have had if you own a Coyote. Maybe we're kind of in the same boat. I don't know, but this is my experience. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications, catch more future updates on what's going on with this Coyote. And we'll see you on the farm next time.